What's up, guys? Joe at Momentum Works. Today, I've got a new turbo for you. This is the Titanium Series from Bullseye Power. All right, guys. So take a look. You've probably not seen this before. There's not a whole lot of them out there online, but there are quite a few out running on the roads these days. This is the Titanium Series from Bullseye Power. Now, what makes this turbo special is this was built in mind of the commercial diesel clientele, which everyone knows is our main customer base. So we were really excited to get our hands on this turbo. It's got some pretty big claims. So we're going to take it apart today, kind of give you the ins and outs of it, the specs. Um, it is quite similar to the TCT, but it has a few things thrown in there that make it specific for the big truck market. A little bit about Bullseye Power, if you're not familiar, they do a lot of race car stuff, guys. So if you haven't heard of Bullseye, um, the reason probably is, is they're a lot bigger in the racing community than they are here in the truck community. They do a lot of pro mod stuff. They got a lot of real fast cars out there. So, you know, feel free to check them out. But let's dive specifically into this turbo. Starting on the compressor side, you'll see that the outlet is a 4.2 inch V-band. Um, so if you're running this on a Caterpillar, you're going to want to switch to that V-band style elbow, which is much easier to use than the double over in Caterpillar. Now, if you are using this on a Caterpillar as well, this inlet is six inch instead of the regular five and a half. So your factory air cleaner boots will fit directly on this. You'll also probably notice that the casting is very clean on this turbo. If you look here at the inlet, you can see that there's been a lot of port work done to really smooth out any incoming airflow as it goes into that TCT wheel. TCT standing for triple turbo technology or triple compressor technology. I'll, I'll fix it because I'm sure I got that wrong. But anyway, that same wheel is used here. Um, while the compressor cover is different on the titanium versus the regular TCT turbo from Bullseye. The bearing housing Bullseye is using, it's not one of their billet that they would use on their race car turbos. It is the regular uh, bearing housing from Bohr Werner. But take note that this is the S410 style, which is going to be a direct fit for the Caterpillars, uh, not the S400 that's used on the Detroits. But you can run this on a Detroit, it's just a more robust bearing housing with a lower drain location so that your factory hard lines on your single turbo cats will be directly compatible. One more benefit of the S410 bearing housing is that you have that wider journal bearing spacing. And as we take this turbo apart, hopefully we'll get to see that. But basically, think about picking up a barbell. The further you put your hands out on that barbell, the easier it is to lift and the more stability you have. Same thing goes as far as journal bearing spacing. Uh, you know, it controls the shaft better so that you don't get more radial play. This particular model here is sporting a Bohr Warner 132 divided T6 housing. You can also get this in a 145, a 158. Uh, we opted for the 132 because it's best for a 600 horsepower cat. And they're also using the Bohr Warner 96 by 88 millimeter turbine, which is very popular, been around a long time. So we're going to jump right in. I'm going to start getting this turbo apart. We're going to see what's inside this turbo and what makes the Titanium Series a real robust competitor.
So now that we've taken the whole turbo apart, these are the three things that set this turbo apart from anything else on the market. First and foremost, let's start with the turbine shaft. While this is a regular Borg 96 by 88 millimeter turbine shaft, this is heat treated. Uh, the heat treated is gonna add some strength and rigidity to the part. The next thing that's different is the compressor wheel. Now this design is the TCT, uh, triple compressor technology, which you can get a TCT turbo for a little bit less, but this one specifically is made out of titanium. While titanium is a bit heavier than aluminum, it is much stronger. So you have a better chance, not that I recommend this, of sucking through the turbo and the compressor wheel living. The last thing is the compressor cover. So this is similar to the TCT compressor wheel, but like I said, it has this six inch inlet, which is gonna be factory compatible with your single turbo cat air cleaner system. Next thing I wanna talk about is sizing. So the one that we have is a 78 millimeter with a 132 exhaust housing. That 78 is just like a Borg. It's a 78 by 105 overall diameter, but of course it's that TCT wheel opposed to the seven plus seven that Borg Werner uses. You can also get this an 80 by 110, you can get it in an 83 and an 85 by 120. Um, the 85 and the 83 are unique to Bullseye. Borg Warner goes as large as an 82, and then after that, you have to go up to an S500 frame. Um, I think the 83 and the 85 are really unique because of the fact that you just can't get them in the S400, S410 frame size anywhere else. As far as the turbine wheel, every one of these turbos, no matter what size compressor wheel you get, it's going to be that 96 by 88 millimeter turbine wheel, but of course it does have the heat treated shaft. Um, then exhaust housing, same thing. You can get it in a 132, uh, non-waste gated, of course, or you could add one of our 132 waste gated down the road if you wanted to. Uh, 145, 158, or 165 waste gated. Uh, these are all T6 divided. All right, so I gave you all the facts. Now it's time to give you my opinion. Overall, it's an expensive turbo, guys. It's probably about double the cost of the Borg, depending on where you're buying your Borg and depending on when you're watching this video because prices change all the time. Um, but it clearly does have some added benefits. One, that titanium wheel, the treated shaft, and then that race cover. Um, there's a lot of different companies that make race covers, so that's not exclusive to Bullseye or to the Titanium Series Turbo. Uh, but that wheel design and the treated shaft, I don't know anyone else that's using a treated shaft. Um, the TCT wheel, we did a bullseye video probably like a year or two ago, um, probably two at least actually now. The TCT wheel did slightly outflow the regular 7 plus 7 design to the benefit there. Being made out of titanium is definitely going to make it more robust, but it also makes it more heavy. More heavy? Heavier? I don't know. I sell truck parts. Um, that, that was a joke in my education. Any gay. Um, so yeah, the titanium wheel is definitely going to spool, but it's slower because it's heavier. But... With something being heavy, you're going to get a little bit more momentum. So maybe in between shifts, the turbo won't surge or bark as much because you've got that extra weight of the titanium. Uh, that wheel might be spinning a little bit harder, and it'll be, it'll be, you know, the rotational mass there might be helpful for the big truck market. I'm not sure. We're going to have to try it and find out. Um, but that, along with the heat-treated shaft, those two things together should probably make it less easy for you to snap shafts and anybody that runs these s410 s400 style turbos on these trucks knows that uh you know snapping the shaft does happen from time to time so with that heavier wheel that's going to help rotational force and momentum going forward and the treated shaft there's probably less likely of a chance to snap a shaft in this turbo which is a huge added benefit now granted there is a cost but you know if you have one break if this turbo keeps you from having one breakdown you know, the difference in cost right there is eaten because by the time you have a hook come get you and the time you lose not operating the truck, you know, basically the extra cost of this turbo would be negated by you avoiding one breakdown. And we can't guarantee this isn't going to make you break down. But again, these are my opinions, not fact. Um, and then the cover. I think the cover is great. I know PDI also does a six inch race cover. So it might be where Bulls, I got the idea. I don't know. Uh, but regardless, usually when you get a TCT, or if you get one of the Borg Werner race covers, it's a five and a half. So you have to either change your rubber 90 degree boot or you have to get a rubber reducer to make it work. So by bullseye making it six inch, you know, that is beneficial, makes it a little bit easier to install. Uh, so guys, other than that titanium wheel, the race cover and the treated shaft, this is identical to what you'd get from a Borg S410. It's built on the Borg S410 chassis. So it uses those bearings, the thrust bearings, the journal bearings, all the internal parts. Um, but like I said, it's got a different compressor cover, a different titanium wheel, and a heat-treated shaft. So we get questions all the time where, well, is it worth it? Well, is it worth it to you? I mean, if you're the guy that needs to have the best of the best, 
this is probably for you, but it's not going to be for everyone because it is an expensive piece. You don't need a turbo upgrade, but if you want a turbo upgrade and you want something that's special, a little different from everybody else, you can certainly get it with this turbo. Um, I've seen even a couple where you know, Bullseye is like blued up, gave that titanium burnt look to the wheel, and that looks pretty sick. Granted, you'll only ever see it when the air filter is off the truck, but regardless, that you know, it's a cool thing they can do. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit better than everything else, I mean, this is even a step better than the regular Bullseye TCT, maybe this turbo is for you. So, I mean, basically, you've got the Borg, which is like the baseline, then Bullseye has the TCT, which, you know, we kind of started using in the truck market, and Bullseye started selling to truck customers, and now the Titanium Series, which is specific for the heavy-duty diesel market, guys. Um, this was designed with you in mind, um, and it's designed to install as easy as possible. So if you're putting it on a cat, you are going to need that V-band style elbow, which we carry the elbow clamp and O-ring. That's not a problem. Um, but it will be direct bolt on for your single turbo cat manifold, your drain line. That's all going to line up because we're using the S410 bearing housing. Um, then you could use this on like a Detroit or a converted ISX or basically anything with a T6 flange um, for commercial truck mark, uh, commercial truck market. This would work. Guys, uh, I'm not going to ramble on. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or give us a call.